Now at noon, a Pembroke Pines man accused of abusing his puppy made his first appearance in court today. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is live in Cooper City where the animal is being treated for its injuries. Ted. Yeah, Lauren, that suspect is accused of severely beating his puppy. Investigators tell us that initially he said that the dog slipped and fell in the shower, but it didn't take long before veterinarians ruled that out. He's rebounding and right now it's just, you know, the love, love in a good home that he needs. He's just 12 weeks old, but Dexter the Pitbull pup has survived an awful lot. Investigators say this man, Daniel Smith, abused him and then lied about it. When they came in and brought the dog, they said that um, he slipped in the shower. But very quickly, uh, we recognized that this wasn't a, a slip in the bathtub or anything like that. Dr. Jason Horgan said it appears the injuries came from something much worse. For me, this just looked like an act of rage or, or something along those lines because, uh, you know, what, what could incite someone to be so angry against an innocent puppy? Vets found cuts and broken bones bones in Dexter's head and skull. A lot of his injuries were from blunt force trauma, so he was hit very hard in some manner where he has fractures, basically broken bones in the skull here, broken bones along his jawline here, uh, cheekbone if you will. And there was more. The swelling has gone down greatly, but he was strangled at some point. Uh, but you can't see it now, but with strangulation you get a lot of swelling of the face, the eyes get very red. It's aggravated animal cruelty. In court, prosecutors said Smith told police several stories of what happened. His attorney said the evidence is inconclusive and asked for a lesser bond. There's no evidence that, like I said, my client or even anybody in particular caused it. In fact, one of the, uh, the uh, vets, one of the doctors says that these injuries were consistent with it. the animal being struck by a car, which wouldn't be consistent with abuse of any kind but an accident. And the vet said that Dexter was not hit by a car. Uh, Smith is being held on $25,000 bond. He has already given up his rights to the dog. If he's released uh, from jail, then he, uh, the judge said he can have any pets at home. Now, meanwhile, as you can imagine, treating Dexter is very expensive. If you'd like to help out or find out about adoption, go to our website, cbsmiami.com. Live in Cooper City, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.